So Mark, I'd love to take the opportunity to ask you, what's the origin story behind WordFence? Um, yeah, it's kind of insane. Uh, so Kerry, my co-founder and I, uh, Kerry's also my, my spouse, my wife, we had been uh, trying to create a business uh, that was viable since 2003. And uh, we had launched a, a job search engine, you know, that, that actually did all right. <laughs> um, it was in Time Magazine and, and New York Times, and we sold that for a very small amount of money. But uh, that was a kind of our first foray into startups. And then we did a geoblogging platform and an online garage selling platform and an inline commenting system and uh, real-time analytics with a web widget and so on and so forth. And uh, around 2011, I think it was, um, we were at the end of our tether, you know, we, we, <laughs> we'd, we'd burned through all of our savings and so on, but we, we kept going and uh, my own WordPress site got hacked. And um, I have a background in operations. I used to be a Microsoft and a Novell engineer. And uh, I was also a bit of a black hat hacker in the early 90s. And um, needless to say, getting hacked really pissed me off. Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't happy with that. So. I immediately dove in and uh, kind of traced the the hackers' uh, steps. You know, figured figured out what we call these days the vector. You know, how they got in and um, what footprints they left and so on. And I figured out that there was a vulnerability in uh, a product called Tim Thumb, and at the time, and it was a zero day, meaning that no one knew about it mm. except this hacker that was going around and exploiting uh, websites. And so I didn't feel too bad because it wasn't sort of a no insecurity issue. This was something brand new. And so I got hold of Ben Moon, the uh, maintainer of Tim Thumb, and uh, I submitted uh, a fix um, for, for Tim Thumb and you know, worked with Ben to get that into production and uh, published my research. And uh, again, you know, th these days we call that uh, responsible disclosure. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do a lot of that at, at WordFence now. But um, publishing that research got me a lot of attention and made me realize that there was a need for a security solution for WordPress. And um, Kerry and I took a, a long, hard look at this. And my, my brother at the, had been in uh, the WordPress space for a few years um, uh, and had told me about what was referred to as the WordPress economy. You know? So, um, you know, I, I was, uh, like I said, we were at the end of our sort of financial tether at that point, And I came up with, uh, some criteria that would define a, a business that we would want to go into. And it would be a, uh, a sector that is growing, uh, that is spendy, mm -hmm. that has a gap in the market that we can fill and where it's something we can be the best in the world at. Um, and WordPress security fulfilled all of those criteria. Um, I had been coding in Perl for quite a long time and um, had gotten very good at high performance um, Perl and transitioning to PHP from Perl was easy. In fact, it was a bit of a relief if you've ever uh, programmed in Perl. <laughs> I haven't had but, <laughs> but um, you know, so it was something we could be very good at. And I had a background in operations and I knew a lot about security and so on. So, uh, and, you know, there was uh, clearly a gap in the market as far as security went. You know, the, clearly there was um, money in, in the WordPress space. Um, it was something that we could be the best in the world at, and there was a lot of growth in WordPress, and this was back in 2011. So, you know, in hindsight, it, I mean, WordPress has grown a lot since yeah. then. I think the market share was maybe below 20% at that point, and now it's over 40% of the web. Um, so that really worked for us. But, um, so we decided to, to go, go into WordPress security. We dropped everything. Uh, I wrote the first version of WordFence, um, which had uh, a malware scanner um, and uh, some basic security features. And it didn't actually have a firewall at the time uh, when we released it, um, the sort of sophisticated firewall that, that we have these days. We added that around 2015. And at that point, it beca became a, uh, a very full-featured and capable security product. But um, when we launched it in 2012, I think it was around April, it started growing very, very slowly. We launched it with a business model and um, the revenue was tiny. I mean, like, you know, your teenager's pocket money or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but what we could do is see the growth that was there and we could extrapolate that. And, you know, Kerry and I at that point, this is around in 2012, had um, been entrepreneurs for a long time and we had created businesses that had you know, generated revenue. And we knew looking at these early numbers, this was gonna be a, 
potentially a very big business. And it was really exciting. And so we, um, we, we hang in there uh, until 2015, just the two of us doing, you know, dev, ops, wow. marketing, customer service, all of it. Um, and then we started hiring around 2015 when the revenue was actually pretty strong. You know, we, we felt like it was a really big responsibility to um, bring on even one full-time employee and that we need to be able to do right by whoever that person is. So we waited until the business was self-funding in a really, really big way. Um, we were on market rate salaries at that point. We could hire um, our first employee, our first developer, and I think we hired about seven or eight people in 2015. So yeah, 2015 was a, a really big year for us. You know, we just started hiring and um, we, we kind of hit the next level of growth. Um, we uh, launched a fully fledged firewall. Uh, I think it was late 2015 or uh, in 2016. And at that point, uh, WordFence became, you know, a, a, a fully fledged uh, WordPress security product. Um, we also uh, launched a lot of performance improvements for the malware scanner and so on. But that's basically the origin story of, of WordFence. That's how we got into it. And I think, you know, what's really worth calling out is the fact that it came from a need that I had. Mm. My own site got hacked. Yeah. And so I was my first customer. Yeah. And I think being able to look at your business through that lens of, you know, I am my own customer and uh, is this going to work for me? You know, that was that was different. Uh, it, it was something that uh, I had done before with a product called Fidget. I, I had wanted Fidget for myself. And um, and in this case, it was it was kind of a similar thing where um, it was a really um, productive way, uh, approach and um, and also, you know, something that I think served the future customers well, because I'm looking at it through the, through the same lens they're going to look, look at it through. You know, I need to secure my website, and that, but I need to have a website that has a lot of traffic and is reliable and so on. So it served us very, very well.